In this video, I'll show you how to create a free plus shipping funnel in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so throughout this video, this is a setup we'll be creating, right? So we'll have our sales page, okay? And then we'll redirect customers over to our order form page. And then on the order form page, we'll present a upsell and then we'll send them over to our thank you page. I should note that you can customize the thank you page so you can add additional offers onto the thank you page as well, if you so choose. Also worth mentioning is when we're creating our sales page, I'm gonna be taking this video from an e-commerce standpoint, okay? So instead of creating a custom landing page, I'm just gonna use our product page, okay? And you can customize a product page as you would um, any other landing page. If you're not running an e-commerce store, you can still follow along the concepts exactly the same. The only difference is when we create our sales page, when we add our call to action button, such as um, buy now, place your order or whatever your call to action is, all we need to do is just link them directly over to our order form page, okay? We can also embed the order form onto the sales page, but just for this example, we're gonna separate the two. So we're just gonna link them over to the order form page. So I'll leave a link to our sales funnel playlist. So that way if you wanted to add a order form on the page or in a pop-up format um, you'll be able to do so so you can choose a relevant video from the playlist okay so with that said let's get straight into the tutorial so to achieve this we'll be using wordpress as our content management system and we'll be using woocommerce for our products okay and we'll be using the all-in-one checkout plugin by WeSuite for our order form page and for our upsells as well so just head over to WeSuite.com, go ahead and download the all-in-one checkout plugin i'll leave the link in the description below and with that said let's head over to our dashboard assuming you've downloaded the all-in-one checkout plugin just go ahead and upload the plugin so we'll go plugins add new go ahead and upload and install the plugin once you've done so you'll see this we suite menu here go ahead and click activate enter in your license key then it will automatically redirect you to this add-ons page okay and then from here we can just scroll down and just enable the all-in-one checkout plugin so i'm enabling the free version and the pro version okay okay so now with that out of the way we also need to install woocommerce for our our product management so we just navigate again to plugins add new and then this time we can just search for woocommerce okay so if we search we should come up and then just go ahead and install and activate it how we're going to approach this is we'll create our products first so i'm just going to create a simple book funnel okay but e-commerce version so the customer can purchase the book for free they'll just have to pay shipping and we'll upsell them on the audio format okay and then on the thank you page we can add some additional offers but i think for this video we'll just create a basic thank you page okay so we've got WooCommerce installed so now let's go ahead and create our first product so we'll just go products and then add new okay so we just give our product a name just add some description then we'll set the price to zero and we'll create a new category for this particular product as well so we'll just create a book category we'll add our featured image Okay, so now we'll just hit publish. Hit fine. So now we'll add our second product, which will be our upsell offer, okay? So I'm just gonna click add new again, and then product. We can add some description. We'll go ahead and add a featured image. For the price, this time we'll say $49 and then we'll place it in our book category as well. So before we publish this, we wanna set the visibility to private. So it says visibility here. Currently it says public, so we'll click edit and then we'll set this to private and then okay. And then now we can go ahead and update it, okay? Okay, so with that out of the way, we can go ahead and view all products and then you should be able to see the products in which you just created, right? So we've got our audio version, which is private, and then we've got the book here, okay? So we can view the book, and this is how it looks currently. So that's fine. So again, depending on the theme and stuff you use, this will vary, okay? But essentially, as I said, instead of having this e-commerce set up, you can just create a landing page and then link customers over to um, our custom order form, which we'll go ahead and create now. Okay, so let's navigate to WeSuite and then AIO checkout for all-in-one checkout. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and click create checkout. Okay, so this is our default checkout form. So we've got things such as our billing details, shipping details, and so on. Okay, if we want, we can add new fields to our checkout page. 
and we can also rearrange them as well and just hide specific fields okay so i'm just going to keep everything as standard for now and we can add a multi-step checkout as well by clicking this plus icon where it says products we'll go ahead and ignore this for now since we're using the e-commerce setup we'll ignore it so we'll allow customers to add the products to cart okay okay so if you're using a landing page instead of the e-commerce setup um, on the products here all you do is you just go ahead and add the product which you just created right so we'll just select my awesome book okay so we'll add the, the my awesome book to this checkout form and once we finish configuring our checkout form then we'd get the link to this checkout form and then we'll just basically link our call to action to this checkout form okay it'll make sense in a minute but for now i'm just going to remove this simply because we're going for an e-commerce setup okay so we'll navigate to design okay and then here we can choose from our pre-designed templates there will be more coming in future as well and in the next update you'll be able to just create one from scratch completely okay Okay, so we'll head to our thank you page and here it's saying do we want to enable the thank you page from the global checkout since this is your first time creating one i'd select no because there wouldn't be a global checkout if that makes sense and then here we can choose our thank you page design or we can create a custom one okay so i'm just going to select a default one for now i'll leave a link um, on screen and in the description below to our video showing you how to actually configure this um, thank you page so when you create a custom thank you page you can add additional upsells you can add a post purchase survey and so on okay but just for simplicity i'm just going to select one of our pre-made templates and we navigate to settings we'll go ahead and enable this and we'll set this as our global checkout and then we can just say we can call it default for example so it's just for internal purposes um, um, so for the slug again if you're creating a landing page this slug would become super important because if this is a url you'd link from your landing page right i'm just gonna leave it blank for now we're gonna display this checkout to everyone we've got the option to show it to a specific user specific user role or guest users which are users logged out of your site but it doesn't make sense for this situation um, custom checkout button text um, we're just going to leave it as default close the checkout after x number of orders again we'll ignore this option um, enable google address auto complete i'm going to leave it disabled for now and i'll leave a link on screen to a video showing you how to enable this okay so let's hit save changes and then we'll navigate back to our general settings and then we'll click on settings here do we want to allow customers to edit their order whilst they're on the checkout page um, i'm going to leave it enabled for now we can add our logo to our checkout form we can add some copyright text right um, permalinks that's fine we can enable google recapture and we can add our google map api key as well okay so that's fine so i'm going to actually enable direct checkout here okay and i'm going to show the buy now button and the add to cart button so let's just hit save changes we can rename the buy now um, text as well Right, so now let's view our product page again. So this is our product page. Let's refresh this. Okay, so now we can, the customer can add it to cart or they can just click buy now. So if they click buy now, it should take us directly to our custom checkout, which we just created. Okay, and here we've got our book added to our basket, which is fine. Now we'll go ahead and add our upsell offer, okay? So let's navigate back to all-in-one checkout and we'll click on order bomb. So in future, this will be renamed to campaigns, I believe, because you can add numerous different types of campaigns in it, not just order bumps. And there'll be more added in future as well. So I'm going to click add new order bump and then we'll name this one book. Okay. And I'm going to add the product that we created for our upsell. Okay. So I think it was my awesome book or some, no, my awesome audio. Yeah, so we'll select this and we'll just click add product okay so we've added our product here fine and we can give customers a discount if you want so we'll say a 10 percent discount based on a regular price okay and then if they accept this offer we'll just add it to their um, order okay um, for the display position i'm going to show it um, below the order summary for the raw priority i'll just leave it as one it's just in the event that you've got more multiple different upsells running if a customer matches multiple rule then the rule with the highest priority will trigger for that particular user okay so we'll navigate to design then we can give it a name so where it says title it will basically display the product name okay um so in this case i'm just gonna totally customize the title so i'm gonna say get and then for the copy i'm gonna say now we'll create our call to action okay and that looks fine we can also change um, the design okay so i'm going to leave it as the default for now 
and then for our conditional rules we'll go ahead and only show this offer when a customer has purchased something from our book category okay so we'll select book here and then we can go ahead and hit save okay so that's saved fine so we can x these off okay and now when we refresh our checkout page we should be able to see our upsell offer so, okay and that looks fine so this is how we'd actually create our free plus um, shipping offer okay currently our shipping showing is free and um, we can go ahead and quickly edit this so we'll just head back over to our dashboard and now we'll navigate to WooCommerce I'll leave a link on screen to a video showing you how to actually configure the shipping on your WooCommerce store okay so I'm just going to quickly navigate to shipping here. I believe the only offer we have is free shipping. So yeah, <laughs> it kind of defeats the point of a free plus shipping offer. So we'll remove the sh free shipping and then we'll just add a flat fee. And then we will say maybe six, 698 or something like that for the shipping. Okay. So for the shipping costs, if you click this question mark icon here, it will give you a few examples of how you can um, add various different calculations to calculate the shipping. Okay, so I'm just going to say 698. Then we've got the asterisk, right? So that's the flat fee. And then we'll times it by the quantity. So if a customer's got um, 10 items in their basket, then it will basically times 698 by 10, which will give them $69. Okay, pretty much $70 for the shipping. So let's just hit save changes. Okay, and now let's refresh our checkout page. Okay, and here you can see our shipping is actually 698, which is fine. Okay, so they're getting our book for free. And then here they're paying 698 for the shipping. And if they take us up on our upsell offer, then we've actually boost our average order value. So hopefully you're breaking even on your free plus shipping offer. And then um, any subsequent sales you make after that will basically be just straight profit. OK, so that's the idea anyway. So as for the shipping as well, as I said, we're basically charging um, per quantity. So if you didn't want to do that, you can actually um, just change this rule here and you can just offer just like a, a flat shipping cost or you can keep the flat fee times quantity right and then for our audiobook product we can basically just remove the shipping from that okay but to do that i'll leave a link on screen to a particular video showing you exactly how you can do that and that's how you create a free plus a shipping offer in wordpress in just a few simple steps as always if you enjoy this video please like and subscribe for more videos like this and if you got any questions leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible